Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming back to you from RE Plus 2023 in Las Vegas. This is the big international solar conference. And this afternoon I'm joined by Dylan Rupp, senior product manager here at Savant, and we're looking at the Savant okay. power systems. So Dylan, really good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thanks. Thanks for having me, Joe. Absolutely. Well, we're getting you know really excited to learn more about your product offering. But folks, again, I think this is in line with the overall trend that I'm noticing, which is that it's no longer about picking and choosing individual system components. It's about choosing which platform, which energy platform you want to be on. And now that energy platform includes solar, inverter, storage in some cases load control, EV charger, and single monitoring app as well. And I think that's what you're going to see here as we unpack the Savant power system. Absolutely. Yeah, so happy to get into it here with you, Joe. I want to start by talking about our flexible load management. Which let me take this. So talking about our flexible load management solution that we have. So this is a piece of equipment that's going to give end users full control over both how they produce and consume power within their home. What we're doing is we're actually using equipment here that goes directly into the load center that the customer already has on site, so we're not having to invest in an additional new panel or any new infrastructure. We can slot our power modules directly into that load center, pair those with as few or as many circuits as a customer wants to have full visibility and control over, and then we are able to pull that data into our app and give that a homeowner the ability to control that load all from the company of their own couch through their smart device, phone, tablet, whatever they prefer to use. In addition to giving that really great insight as to how that power is being consumed and individual level control, we can also leverage this equipment to eliminate the need to utilize things like critical load sub-panels when a customer is doing a backup system, whether that's a generator or energy storage system. By pairing one of our power modules with any large non-critical loads, we're able to commission this system with those loads deemed as non-critical, the system will recognize a grid outage and automatically shed any of those loads. But through that app, we give that end user full control to come in at a later date as their, or at a later time as their needs require and turn those loads back on. So as conditions or needs change around the home, that customer has full control o over the loads that are being powered within their home. Uh, so a very phenomenal solution to not only improve the reliability of the system, but also the performance. As that battery is starting to drain down, we can also use automated triggers to shed additional loads to really extend how long that battery is gonna last that customer, keep their home powered in a grid down situation. Uh, and really enable them to invest in a smaller battery but have a similar end user experience at the end of the day. So a really phenomenal foundation that we built to deliver smart energy to customers using the Savant platform. And that really bows, or ties nicely in with our Savant Power Storage 20 ESS system that is right behind you here. Yeah, and when I first became aware of Savant, I know this was the main solution. And it really is innovative because the way that they do the load control, instead of having to swap out your entire electrical panel or having to put a sensor on each, on each individual circuit in your panel, you can plug in these intelligent load control devices into empty spaces in your existing panel and just control and monitor the, the, you know, the, the, the circuits that have to be managed, namely the, the heavy loads that are going to affect your, significantly affect your battery runtime in a grid down situation. Uh, but I know since then, now Savant has added its own inverter and battery storage solution as well. So can you explain to the viewers, what are we looking at here in terms of the components and how does it work? Yeah, absolutely. So this is an all-in-one energy storage system, single platform, it's going to deliver everything a customer needs in order to enable solar plus storage for their home. So what we have here on top is a 12 and a half kilowatt continuous output hybrid inverter. This hybrid inverter can accept DC or AC coupled solar, it can integrate directly with a generator, and then it has the microgrid interconnection device to manage that interconnection with the utility already built in. So for any installer using this system, all the power sources that they want to integrate for that customer within their home can all get, pu get pulled to a single location within that home, and then we just start landing them at the appropriate locations within the system. 
paired with our hybrid inverter, we have a 20 kilowatt hour battery solution. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery solution. It is actually built using eight individual two and a half kilowatt hour battery modules. Now what's unique about these modules, because they're a two and a half kilowatt hour module, they're extremely light. Each of these modules only weighs about 50 pounds. Very easy to handle, very easy to maneuver. And if you'll hold the mic, I'll pull one out here. I wanna show you. So each module actually has a connector on the back side of it, and the back plane of this cabinet is pre-wired to accept the connector of these battery modules. So for an installer coming out to site, installing this battery is as easy as slotting in the eight individual modules, making sure they make a solid connection with that back plane, and that installer is done. A single individual can reasonably install this battery with no additional set of hands in about an hour. So very, very easy to install, and enables our partner installers to do multiple jobs in a single day very easily and with a minimal number of individuals on that crew working on the ESS system. You know, Dylan, that, that's unheard of for, for battery installations, do multiple in one day, because you, usually, you know, usually the way this works is mul multiple extra days tacked on to add batteries to the solar system. And I know, I, frankly, I know for you installers out there that that's an issue that we're dealing with is, okay, we all know that storage is kind of where things are going. But we need to get to a point, if, if we're going to be in the installation business, we need to get to a point where we can install storage as profitably, as predictably, as we can install grid tie solar only right now. Because, you know, I talk to a lot of installers out there, and, and what, the, what they're telling me off camera is, you know, Joe, I don't really want to have to install a battery today unless I absolutely have to. I mean, I'm, I'm going to offer it because it's, it's kind of a necessary component now. I don't want to be the guy that's just saying, hey, no batteries. But if I had to choose between doing batteries or not, I'd rather just do solar only at this point because I, I have more control, it's more predictable, it's more profitable. So what you just shared with me here, the fact that you could potentially have a single installer, individual pieces that are about 50 pounds you know, a piece, you know, some of the batteries are three and 400 pounds. They require you know, three men minimum or some kind of special lift equipment or something like that to get it into place. So I think that's something that's huge for the installers out there to know that this could potentially be installed by a single individual because of the modular design. Um, anything else that you would share with potential installers out there? You know, there's a lot of installers out there that are trying to decide, okay, which battery should I go with? They know that they can't do all of them. What are some of the things, advantages of your platform compared to some of the other brands that are out there? Yeah, I think in addition to that physical ease of install, because these are co-developed as a single platform solution, integration of this battery and this inverter together are extremely easy. It's, it's a plug and play integration, and we actually send all the conductors and communication cables that are necessary to enable that with every single system. So it's really something that an installer, like I said, can get in and get out with this unit installed reliably very, very quickly. In addition to what we actually offer these installers from an installation perspective, we have an equally as impressive app experience for those end users. So I do have a tablet here that I want to grab that actually shows this app experience. So this app is going to pull in information not only from our ESS to give a, a macro level view of how the home is consuming power, but also pull in very granular data from our flexible load management solution so a customer can understand exactly where their power is going. And it's going to deliver that all into a very easy to understand intuitive app experience. So here you can see the Savant app and the energy dashboard within the Savant app. <clears throat> it's going to give a really nice overview of where that energy is flowing within a customer's home. But then if that customer wants to understand a little bit better where exactly that energy went, they can actually drill in and start looking at individual circuits, how much power those circuits are both consuming instantaneously and how much they've consumed over the course of the day. And then like we talked about, very, very easy to go in and manually turn those loads off and on as needed for that end user. In addition to insights as far as where the energy went, we give really good messaging to that homeowner through our message center. So we're going to tell them what's going on both inside their system and external to their system. So if there's a grid outage, if we've changed the way that we're operating at a given point in time, they will get push notifications. If there's a trip breaker, that's another thing we'll notify them about. And then at the end of every day, excuse me, when you use this as a demo, so there's a lot here. At the end of every day, we give a really nice overview of what were your top consumers? How much energy did you use? So we're really empowering that homeowner to understand where that power went, change their behaviors, make wise decisions about how they're using their power in the future.
Excellent. Yeah. And again, folks, you've been following for a while. You know, this is something I talk about all the time. You know, having visibility and control over how the energy is being spent within your home allows you to make better decisions about, you know, do you really need to use that appliance? Especially if you're in a grid down or you're in a backup power situation. Uh, or maybe you're just in a situation where you're in, you're in peak rate hours for your utility. You know, do you really need to run the clothes dryer right now? Does it really make sense to run the clothes dryer right now? Does it really make sense for me to charge my electric vehicle right now? Uh, or is that something that, you know, I, I, maybe I can be doing during daylight hours when the solar is helping to support, su support the demand of those loads? Uh, but again, folks, this is, this is the trend that I'm seeing here, is everything coming onto one platform. The inverter, the, the app, the load control, the solar, everything in one place, everything speaking to each other so that you have a seamless integrated, uh, integrated system. So Dylan, uh, what else here? I noticed a couple of other components here. Power director, what, 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 what does this do yeah. and how does this fit with the overall solution? So this power director is really what's going to enable the communication and deliver that app experience. So in addition to actually housing the programming that the end user has set up for things like those energy scenes and how the power gets used, it also is going to communicate via Bluetooth directly with the power modules on that customer site to tell them exactly when to shed load and how to behave. Now, for whatever reason, you did lose communication between the power director and the modules. They do have memory built in, so they're going to remember if they're a critical load or not and be able to shed in an off-grid situation. So it's a very robust system in its ability to still operate even if you have issues there. But this, this power director is really what's going to enable that, that app experience. And the nice thing about this whole system is every single Power Storage 20 that we just looked at comes with a power director included to go ahead and then enable that customer to add flexible load management to their energy storage system at a very, very low cost. Um, so a very important piece of the puzzle here to go ahead and enable that smart energy, smart home experience that we want to deliver for all of our customers. Uh, Dylan, another, another question that comes to mind here because it, it does appear that sort of th this is maxed out in terms of a single column. Now for those that want to have more than 20 kilowatt hours of storage, what does scalability look like? Can I do multiple batteries to one inverter? Do I do multiple stacks? How does it expand? Yeah, yeah so we have a few different ways that we can expand upon this system. Um, each battery, each 20 kilowatt hour battery can be supported by one or two of our 12 and a half kilowatt hybrid inverter. So a really nice way to increase the amount of interconnected solar without having to invest in additional battery capacity. However, customer has the need to go ahead and increase that battery capacity, we can continue to stack full power storage 20s up to 10 in a single system by the end of the year. So this is absolutely a scalable solution and something that even very, very high demand energy users are able to deploy within their home and realistically take that entire home and power in an off-grid situation. Very cool, and, and you, you touched on briefly earlier the, the, the generator support. I see there's a generator indicator here as well, because this is another one of those things, you know, for folks that are looking for maximum redundancy is, you know, you have solar, you have your own battery backup, so the batteries are kind of your first level of defense, but then if you're on a prolonged grid down situation, maybe the solar's not keeping up, maybe because the weather's, the weather's bad, so the solar's not recharging the batteries fast enough, you have a third level backup where you can fire up the generator run the generator for a few hours, long enough to get your batteries back full, and then you can go for running another day or two off your battery reserve. So I, I do think, again, for those that are looking for maximum redundancy, that's going to be a, an important factor. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, you know, it looks like EV charger could be part of the platform, too. Uh, and again, that's kind of what we're seeing, is, is the entire home energy system converging on one, one sort of language, one system for running, and one, one app, you know, kind of one app, one place you go to as a homeowner to manage it. Uh, Dylan, is there anything else that the audience should know about the Savant Power System? I think just that it's the smartest energy system that anybody's able to deliver in the market today. That ability to pull it all into a single app is not something that you're going to find from any other equipment manufacturer who's doing both energy storage and the flexible load management to really, again, improve reliability of that system and increase the performance that you're getting out of your battery solution. Great. Well, folks, this has been a brief introduction to the new Savant Power System. Uh, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from these videos that you see on Solar Surge, make sure you hit the thumbs up button for us there. 
Uh, and also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. You know, that way, as we have the new videos coming out from the expo here, it'll come up on your feed and you can, you can stay up to date with all the latest information. And by the way, that's why we're here, folks, at these conferences, is to make sure that you have the, the latest, most up-to-date industry, technology, and product information. Well, Dylan, I thank you for spending time with us this Absolutely, afternoon. Joe, and it's really so good to, to see you in person. Likewise. I feel like I kind of already know you because I know we've worked together yeah. in the past on some other things. Uh, but folks, that pretty much does it for today's video here. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.